What's your name? Uh, Ray. Ray, come right up here. Yes, sir. Ray, where are you from? Los Angeles. What faith do you follow? I'm a Christian. What brought you to the Celebrate Israel Festival today? I've been coming here for the last four years, and the reason that I'm here, um, I support Israel. I think Israel has a right to exist. I think Israel, uh, through their history and everything they've been through, through the Nazi era, uh, through anti-Semitism, I think it's uh, so important for us, especially me as African American, to show my support for Israel. But as a Christian, and as a Christian here in the United States, it's not our responsibility to persecute them, to push them. We support Israel, and that's our main function. That's Israel, but is it a part of your goal to convert Jews to Christianity? No, no it, isn't. it isn't. No, and I think that would, that's extremely wrong to do anything of that such. Right. Um, have you been to Israel yourself? Yes. Yeah, yeah. What did you think? I flew there on LL, and when I was going there, um, it was a very clear day. We were approaching the uh, the Mediterranean Sea. He was leveling off at, uh, the, uh, at 10,000 feet. And the first thing I noticed is just how beautiful the country is. You have to go there in order to understand just how beautiful and what they've done since 1948 when they became a nation. It's amazing, utterly amazing. Did you feel excluded as a Christian during your time there? No, no. I met a lot of Jewish people there. They were more curious about me than I was about them. So we ha I had a great time. I have Jewish friends there, and uh, I'm going back this year. I go every year. I, do, I visit different parts of uh, Israel, but uh, it's a very humbling experience. Have you experienced any uh, anti-Semitism within the black American community? Yes. 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 You've noticed it? Yes. You're right. And, and uh -huh. where does it come from? Uh, it, it comes from not being educated. It comes from um, uh, propaganda. It comes from not understanding or understanding the history of Israel. Uh, usually I tell people who don't understand the history of Israel, first, qu first question I ask them is, there's a street in Jerusalem named after Martin Luther King. What was the reason that the Jews named this street after Martin Luther King? Most of them don't know the answer, but the answer is because Martin Luther King was a strong supporter and he was against anti-Semitism. Right. Does anti-Semitism in the black community come from religion or from what they perceive to be uh, a Jewish uh, status in America? Jewish status in America, right. Resentment? Yeah. Resentment. Uh, they feel that the Jews or uh, people that are greedy, they feel that the Jews t took away jobs from African Americans and, and once that little pebble drops it spreads around and you have people like Al Sharpton who's anti-Semitic, anti who's made uh, racial remarks against the Jewish people and people listen to it and so if you're not educated and understand what's going on with Israel you will fall into that, that um, that ideal, that ideology about Israel. How about uh, the nation of Islam in the black community? How do you feel about that? Uh, they are a group that hates Israel. They are a group that is led by Farrakhan. Uh, Farrakhan hates the Jews. He's anti-Semitic. Um, there, there is a, um, uh, a, 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 as a Christian, I teach my kids uh, to be aware of people like Farrakhan or the Muslim community. I respect them, but when they come against Israel, then I got an issue with that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What's your concern about uh, Nation of Islam's spread within the black community? Do you feel that that's a threat to Christians? Yes, uh, yes, because uh, they'll attack us for supporting Israel, and I've been attacked verbally really? yeah, for supporting Israel. If, I, if I'm seen wearing this shirt and there's a bunch of uh, yeah. Uh, Muslims in the community, they see me, yeah, I'm going to get attacked. But I expect that because there is a saying that silence in the face of evil in itself is evil. Right. And I believe that. If you don't speak out against evil, then I'm at fault for supporting it. Now, why would um, Muslims who are not Palestinian themselves, what would be their, their uh, issue with the state of Israel if they're not Palestinian? Because they feel that that land belongs to them, the Muslims. 
Right. The, the black American Muslims feel that Israel belongs to them? Right. Right. The Muslims do. All Muslims? I would say the majority of them, yeah. right. But it's not just Palestinian Muslims, you're saying even American Muslims? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. American Muslims feel that yeah, um, that land is theirs, uh, even though the Bible says that God gave that land to the Jewish people. But they don't believe that. They believe that land is there. Now, you won't see them out in the streets protesting or making that enough. The uh, Farrakhan and the uh, Nation of Islam will. But the American Muslims here, you won't see that. If you notice, when they were cutting the heads off of Christians, you didn't see the Muslims protesting about that, you know? You, they should have been outraged about that, but they don't. They're very silent here in the United States. On, on the same token, where was the church in protesting that publicly? They're very true. Where were they? And you're absolutely right. Where were they protesting it? That's a, and that's, a, that's a sad thing when you realize you see what's going on there, but where was the church protesting that? You're absolutely right. All right but do American Christians have a connection to the, uh, to the Christians in Africa who are being uh, 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 persecuted by uh, Boko Haram, for example? Exactly, yes, and we do. And, and, and the same thing, you don't hear the, uh, and this is what makes me so angry, you don't hear liberal media talking about it. Right? You notice that. You don't see it in the Los Angeles Times, the Wall Street Journal, the well, Daily Not Wall Street Street. Journal, but, uh, yeah. but the LA Times. Right, you don't see it. It should have been headlines on there. Well, but yet you don't see it. And, uh, and that's a sad thing. So through social media, that's the only place you'll, you'll see it and you'll hear about it. So uh, I tell my church members, we're aware of it. We put it out there. We go through and we try to get, like for instance, I'll give you a good example. You can look around here, and you will not see that many African Americans here. And I'm aware of that, and it kind of it bothers me a little bit. But I wish we were more here in terms of supporting Israel. But you don't see it. You know, you'll see a few African Americans here, but there should be a huge community of African American churches, black churches, here at this event. Uh -huh. Is there an awareness in the black American generation today of the uh, of the assistance, the dedication that Jewish Americans gave to the civil rights movement in the 60s. You know what? And that is so so. You're absolutely right because there are pictures of Jews walking with Martin Luther King, and that's one of the reasons why they got the street named after Martin Luther King. But it's almost like they just turn a blind eye to it. They're they're more concerned about what's going on with themselves than what's going on with the Jewish people, which is wrong. But they don't teach it. You don't hear it in the schools. And if you don't, and if you're unaware of what, how the Jews have helped my folks during the, that period in the 1960s, you, you just don't know. How about um, black awareness of the Holocaust as a product, an end result? of racism. How much awareness of, uh, of uh, one, uh, or, or uh, two, uh, reference to yeah. the Holocaust is there one, in the, in the uh, black teaching and black uh, community uh, awareness? You, you, you won't see much of that happening and you won't see it uh, talked about in a lot of the black churches that I've been to. And it's like, it's, it's like they're more concerned, which is okay, about what's going on in the black community and the churches and the things they do. But in terms of what's going on in Israel, it's, it's like a subject they don't want to touch. And it's, it's hard to put your finger on it. It's hard to say, well, why is that? Why don't they want to touch on that subject? They preach the Bible. The Bible was written all by Jewish prophets, right? Our, our faith is based on, on the Jewish people, not vice versa. Christianity is not based upon the Jews. But it's based, Judaism is not based on Christianity, right. Right. right? Well, our Christianity is based upon the Jewish Bible, right. right? And so, but yet at the same time, they don't talk about. Yeah, they'll preach it. You hear black preachers preaching it. I can take it to any t uh, TV channel, from uh, T uh, uh, J D. I forgot his name. Uh, Jakes. Jakes. I can take it to Jakes. T -D Jakes? Yeah, T D Jakes. He. Great, you'll preach, but you won't hear anything in regards to what's going on in Jerusalem. 